Greetings, fellow gamers. Today I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm going to give you guys a comprehensive buyer's guide for a PC, for anybody that's wanting to compete in video games or create content or anything, literally anything. This is going to be the overarching complete guide to buying a PC for whatever just so happens to be coming out in December right before Christmas. That being said, um, I'm going to start out by saying that this is not a paid promotion. No companies reach out to me to give me any money for making this video or promoting their product or talking bad about anybody else's product. This is These are all my opinions and mine alone. Uh, I do have an affiliate link to share with you at the end of the video, but that affiliate link was sought out by me after the fact. Once I'd um, done all of my research and looked into all of these companies and decided which one I thought was the best, I went to them and decided that I wanted an affiliate link to put into this, um, to put at the end of this video in case anybody wanted to take my advice and buy a system from them. So that being said, let's jump into the video. So first off, I'm Nismo Spoolin. Uh, one thing to do on this channel is to give people tools and knowledge that you need to become a better, more competitive PC gamer. And I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't go over one of the most important tools at your disposal when you're growing your skills as a player, your actual PC, the, the machine that you play on. Uh, frames win games. And that's just that's not just a marketing ploy, that, that is a cold hard fact. The more frames that you have, the better your gameplay will be. The more information that your PC can get to your monitor and can get to your mouse and keyboard can get to you and you can make a reaction based on that information. The more information you have, the faster the information that you have, the better player that you will be. So in order to get all of that information to you as quick as possible, you need the most powerful machine to do the job. It doesn't mean you have to go out and buy a top of the line $10,000 gaming machine and bowl out. Because technology, in the technology world, everything moves two, three times faster than out in the real world. Uh, a year in real time can be about three years in the technology world and so on and so forth. So spending about $10,000 right out the gate can be really risky. You could spend $1,500 on a GPU for your system at the wrong time. And in a couple of days, it could be replaced by a better GPU and you're already behind. So picking your PC parts wisely is very important. I've been playing competitive FPS games for a very long time, and I've used all manner of machines and peripherals and played in all sorts of conditions. I've built my own PCs, I've bought pre-built machines from large companies, and there are benefits to doing it either way. The reason I'm making this video isn't to dunk on any one person that picked their machine or dunk on any company that builds machines. It's to make the process simpler and ensure that the consumer, you, gets the most for their money because PCs are very expensive and very diverse. It's not as simple as going to pick out a console for $300, $400. This decision can break the bank if it's not done properly. So first things first, building your own PC. I've built my own machines for years. Uh, back in the early 2000s, this was the best way to do it. Gaming PC builders were few and far between and parts were relatively inexpensive and easy to put together. Not to mention parts specifically for gaming in mind were rare as well and you could pick apart other PCs and buy the important stuff like GPUs, cooling, processors and separately and toss them in uh, for much cheaper. This is still a valid process that a lot of people still love to do. Building a PC is satisfying and fun but there's a lot of hobby builders out there that just enjoy building a PC for themselves or their loved ones. You can find good deals on new hardware or buy lightly used parts off of eBay, Facebook for sale or elsewhere and have a good machine for a cheap price. There's nothing wrong with doing it that way if that's what you want to do. When building your own PC, it's important to research what parts work best with, with each other and the games you want to play or the work that you want to do. And learning these things feels good, but there are drawbacks to doing this. In my experience building PCs, I've noticed that warranties on parts are dismally short, if any at all, and parts can be compromised from factory. Entire batches of CPUs can leave the factory in a non-working state and get to you already broken or hardly functioning, and it may take weeks for you to get all the parts in your machine before you put it all together. Then it's a process of finding out 
out why your machine doesn't post or what's broken, what you may or may not have messed up during the installation. And by the time you figure out that your GPU is toast out of the box, the warranty may have already expired and you're up shit's creek without a paddle on a GPU that may have cost you an upward of $1,000. This happens and it happens often, especially with new products with limited testing. When the new GTX 2080 Ti card came out, there were many people that received cards that were artifacting right out of the box, crashing, overheating the works. Building a PC is more of an art form after all. If that's the route you want to take, know the risks involved. Hobby building is a legitimate thing and it's enjoyable in and of itself. We here on this channel like to use our machines and that's where the builders come in. Now when looking into a PC building company, there are many factors to consider. Build quality, price, warranty, customer service, delivery time, delivery condition, you name it. You can run to Walmart and buy their line of pre-built gaming PCs, but as many YouTubers have proven, this can be a tiresome and risky process. The quality of parts used is low, giving the fancy parts that everyone looks at, like the GPU and the RAM and stuff like that, can usually be on the higher end of things, because that's the things that you see right out of the gate. They normally cheap out on core components to save money, like the motherboard, processor, cooling, case, things like that. Walmart being on the far end of the pre-built spectrum, where many corners will be cut and the customer service for things like gaming PCs at Walmart is the worst it can be because a place like Walmart sells different products, not just gaming PCs. So you'll spend an eternity trying to find out the right person to voice your concerns with that will know about PCs and help you with your problems. So unless you're in a pinch and you just so happen to be in Walmart and you have the money ready to buy, I would advise against buying it from them. So we've ruled out Walmart as a viable option. What about tech stores like Best Buy? Surely they have better systems, better prices, and better customer service. The problem with major retailers like Best Buy is that systems aren't actually built by Best Buy themselves. They're built by PC building company like Digital Storm, iBuyPower, etc. And the units are sent into the store in bulk to be sold through their retailer. Best Buy does have their own in-store tech support team in Geek Squad, but there are issues with some machines that even they cannot fix or diagnose, especially hardware related issues. If you get a dud machine, the cost may fall onto you to fix it, unless you want to go through Digital Storm, iBuyPower or CyberPower to fix it. And even then, after you've purchased this through a retailer, it can be a nightmare to get the support that you need from the actual builder. At the end of the day, these store-bought systems aren't built specifically to your individual needs as a player and may not perform in a manner that you you want for the game that you play or the work that you do. Keep in mind, PCs are used for more than just gaming. Editing, software design, etc. all need certain aspects of their build to be more powerful or less powerful than others in order to get the best value and most performance. Someone running a server may want a very powerful machine, but they aren't going to use something like a dedicated gaming rig to do that. PC building websites and boutique group builders. This is where you're going to get the most value for your build. Finding a builder that can build your machine to the specs that you want for the price that you can afford is difficult, time consuming and stressful. But the best part about buying a machine from a builder is peace of mind. Build quality, customer support and, and a machine dedicated to your individual needs will be a game changer for any player. There are quite a few of these companies out there now and they all have their own merit. NZXT, CyberPower, Digital Storm, iBuyPower, Origin PC, Main Gear, and Zydex PCs are a few of the options out there for building a great custom PC catered to all of your needs, all of which are known for using the best quality parts for the lowest prices. PC builders buy all of their parts wholesale, which is cheaper than you would be able to buy them from somewhere like Newegg, and te they test each individual part to make sure that the PC they build for you works before they send it out to you. They have great knowledgeable staff and they can work with you to build the best machine possible for everything that you need, followed by everything you want. That's why major tournament organizers like ESEA, OWL, CWL, and the like all use companies like Zydex and CyberPower to provide machines for their tournaments. They can build them fast, accurately and build them specifically all the way down to the exact game or type of game that you want to play or work that you want to do, like video editing. Buying a PC from a builder can be intimidating at first, and there are a lot of things to consider when building a machine through one of their companies. And I've been in audience with the CEOs of many of these builders and companies like Zydex PCs and Origin. I've met and talked with people personally at conventions and uh, been to the facility where Zydex builds tests and services their machines personally. I'm a huge advocate for PC building companies that function solely as a PC building company. They are more in tune with their customer and their needs and they have a much better understanding of the market they function in. 
So not only can they build the best machine, they can build a relationship with their customer as well that you can't put a price on. Having a knowledgeable company that cares about you individually is extremely important, especially when your livelihood is invested into the machines that they build. I've worked with quite a few of these companies. I've talked to them, I've made friendships within them, and I've used their PCs in multiple lands and conventions. For the most part, their products are very good and function great without flaw in whatever they're built to do. Lots of influencers and professional players use PC builders like CyberPower, Origin, and Zydex so that they can focus their on their craft without having to worry about the integrity of their tools so they can deliver the best experience to you in the long run. PewDiePie works with Origin PC, Summit 1G works with CyberPower, Ninja works with NZXT, Mr. Beast works with Zydex, etc. And there is a reason these people go with these companies as opposed to building their PC from Best Buy or building them themselves. And that's the confidence and trust in the builder. Like I said before, these companies, at least the good ones, have a vested interest in your success. They want their machines to perform well so that you can perform at your best. When other people see how well that you do with their product, they're going to want to use that same product to replicate your success and so on and so forth. At the end of the day, when it comes down to boutique and custom PC builders, I look towards customer service, build quality, warranty, and relationship with the customer. Most of the builders have a great customer service. There are few that fall short here, but I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't tell you that the companies that did fall short. Alienware being owned by Dell have a very broad and disconnected customer Customer service team. It seems to me like instead of having their own dedicated team that works with their high-end Alienware builds, they just lumped all of their customer service in with their regular Dell products, and that has hamstrung them in the long run. Linus Tech Tips did a number of in-depth videos, secret shopping with these companies. Is this five minutes already of just pure dicking about? Are we just sitting here in silence again? Hello? Hello? Is it me you're looking for? You no, know, you know you're not doing on hold, right? When you have to come back and say, hello? And their findings were that companies like Alienware send all of their tech support claims to disconnected customer support centers. Alienware and Omen, who are owned by HP, don't provide a customer to build a relationship when you have a person on the other end that cares about you, your system, and your problem. Origin, Main Gear, and Zydax, however, have a great in-house tech support team that are willing to work with you and make sure that your machine is working great for you. They care about you individually and make sure that their products are as great as they can be for as long as possible. So with that in mind, we narrow down our picks for custom PCs to those that aren't tied to a major tech giant like Dell or HP. The customer to company relationship within the big companies is non-existent. They do business in an archaic and dated way, expecting customers to just buy their products and disappear. When working with a proper dedicated PC building company, you get more than just a great machine. You get a team of people that are there to help you with you and your product. When narrowing down my selection, I choose to go with companies that made the decision to stick with me and my machine until the end bringing our selection down to people like Zydex PCs and Origin PCs. These companies have a great customer service. They care about you, they know what they're talking about when it comes to your machine. If there's ever a single problem or concern, you don't have to Google it or talk to a friend. You can call them directly and they'll have the time to talk to you and whatever you need information on. This relationship is absolutely vital to me and I'm sure it should be to you as well. Computers are complicated and ever-changing. If you don't have time to keep up with all the changes yourself, it's nice to have someone whose literal job is to keep up with these things so that they can give you the best, fastest, and most accurate information at any given time. So Origin and Zydex check all the boxes for me so far. Build quality, price, speed, delivery, customer service, customer relationship, high-end parts. But the deal breaker here is ease of access and peace of mind. And this is where Zydex have pulled ahead. Zydex PCs offer financing options for all the machines they build, from their cheapest machines to their most expensive. You can finance the whole thing or put down a set amount to bring down your payments. And with Zydex PCs being such a big investment to a lot of buyers, this is a game changer for me. Origin also offers financing, but Zydex went above and beyond to make sure that I had all the information I needed to make a good informed decision on what was right for me to purchase their machine. Little things like that mean a lot to me, and the positive attitude of their sales team really speaks volumes. Even in the live chat for their website, I really did feel like I was important to them. The final point that is a deciding factor between Origin and Zydex PCs is their warranty. A company that is confident about their product and really stands behind the performance of their machine is key in buying a product. The amount of concern that a company can remove from the process, the better. Origin 2 has a warranty, but it just cannot compete with Zydex PCs. Zydex offer a lifetime parts and service warranty, meaning that if your GPU was to fry in 10 years, they'll replace it with an equivalent card to compete with the times for 
free. There is no company out there right now that can even come close to this kind of guarantee. And for this reason, I've chosen Zydex PCs as my go-to PC building company for all of my gaming and content creation needs. I've owned two Zydex machines in three years. And the only reason I bought another one was to have a second one offhand to run a dual stream setup. Or in case I sent the other one back for an upgrade, I have the spare to use in the meantime so that there's no downtime for my streams or my content. I spent my own money on these systems. Zydax have not given me or offered me anything for free or any kind of payment for talking well of their company. This is my pure and unbiased choice for any and all current future PC builds. Last year I had a motherboard die in one of the systems and I'm unsure of the exact cause of the failure, probably a power surge from a storm or something like that. But without question, Zydex PCs took the machine back immediately and replaced the broken part and checked all the other parts to ensure their integrity. They stress tested my old machine as if that there was a brand new machine coming off of their production line. They cleaned it and made sure that everything was working fine. And my case was even broken during shipping, probably due to my own inferior packing skills. And they even replaced that too. For anyone that uses their PC on a daily basis, a competitive player, a team, a content creator, an editor, what have you, Zydex PCs is the absolute best place to invest your hard earned money. They care about each and every customer, every machine and every situation as if it was their own. I've never had a bad experience with their products or their customer service. I've even been as far as to visit their main PC building facility and see exactly how they operate from treating their employees like family to keeping all of their systems and systems of their customers in safe and good shape. I've never been more impressed with any company in my life. All in all, Zydex PCs have shown me, the customer, that there is hope and compassion in business. That the consumer is the most important part of your business and that everybody deserves to be treated with kindness and respect. I've never had a problem getting into contact with anyone at Zydex PCs, and even when they had no idea who I was and I hadn't purchased anything from them yet, they still treated me as if I was important and valuable to them, and I can't put a price on that. In the description below is an affiliate link that I asked the Zydex to provide me, so if anyone was to purchase a Zydex machine, they can see what convinced them to give their company a shot. If three people were to use my affiliate link to purchase machines from Zydex, that there could be a future business opportunities with me and Zydex PCs, so if you're seriously considering buying one of their products, use the affiliate link down below. And when you talk to their sales team, mention that you saw my video, mention my name and they'll take care of you. I really do hope this video helped you in your decision to buy a new machine, whether it's from Zydex PCs or any of the other options I mentioned. A great machine is vital to a competitive player in order to be successful and these machines are rarely cheap. So making a good informed decision before you invest thousands into your next rig can really make the difference. That's going to be it on my competitive FPS PC buyer's guide. Thank you for watching. If you want more videos like this, more tips on how to improve your game, be sure to subscribe with the bell turned on so you know when I make future videos. Leave a like on the video and comment your experience and ta-ta for now.